Cool, it is April 6th on Friday in Hollywood, California. We're at the House of Blues on the Metal Alliance tour. I'm Mike King of The Faceless. I'm Evan Brewer of The Faceless. I think better than ever. I think this is by far the best Faceless ever. I think it's indisputable. I can't really, really comment on previous Facelesses that I wasn't in, but I gotta say, we're having a really good time. The chemistry on stage and off stage has been fantastic. And if you don't, have you never toured in a band, something you might not realize is the off stage chemistry is every bit as important as the on stage. You literally live together in very close quarters. Yeah. So it's been so positive and good. We're having fun, man. We're like little kids out here just having a good time. This oh. is this is by far the happiest I've ever been on a tour. So as some of you guys may know, we have a new guitarist since Wes Houck, and he's doing a fantastic job. Uh, it's been it's been a pleasure playing with him. He's one of the finest guitarists I've ever had the pleasure of playing with, and uh, it's, it's been it's been really cool. He brings a, a really uh, interesting new dynamic to the band, and uh, like for this for this record, I had all the songs uh, written. I had all the guitars tracked already when he came into the came into the picture, but he had some great songs that he already had ready to go, so we're actually going to add those to the record now, so he's going to be a part of the record, which is really awesome, I'm really happy about that, and uh, it definitely brings like a little bit of uh, variety and a new element to the, to the face, which is really cool, very excited about it. Okay, there, is, there are nine songs uh, that are tracked, uh, guitar and keyboards and most of my vocals, and yada yada. Um, and then when we get back, we're gonna add Wes's song, so there'll be a total of 10 tracks. Um, we gotta do bass, we gotta do vocals, um, mix, master, etc. And it'll be done. And we should, barring any disaster, should be out by Summer Slaughter. It's, um, I mean, I think it's just kind of uh, everything that you've come to expect out of the baseless, like, um, matured and amped up, sort of. Um, it's got good contrast, too, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot of more mellow parts. I mean, I don't even want to say mellow, but there's parts that provide a lot of contrast. As opposed to just being an all-out heavy assault, there's breaks, so it makes the technical parts more technical, makes right. the heavy parts heavier, makes the moody parts more moody. And there's really, it's a real unified album, and then there's like a really nice overall theme to it. Yeah, it's so definitely. It's very cool in that sense. It definitely has a, uh, a sound, for sure. It's definitely got a very clear sound. But yeah, like you said, I, I mean, I always felt that, uh, you know, fast is only as fast as it is in context to slow, you know, when someone's like blaring, you know, speed at you non-stop, you get desensitized to it after a while, so, I mean, awesome. yeah, it's, it's been, been a total collaborative effort, yeah. like, in terms of, like, for developing bass lines, like, we work together really well, it's really fun, because we yeah. go outside of what each other would think of, so it's, right. it's exciting. It's yeah, very, it's, it's very really cool, cool. like, um, more so than ever, it's really amazing to me how um, when I have some some you know riff written and, and demoed out, Evan will just present a bass idea, and it's like I not only would have never thought of that, but it's, it's it fits so perfect and it's so awesome that it's like you know it's like it adds an element that I never would have put there. You know, it's just like he has a different angle on it than, than I would have. You know. So. We're at a good point too, like with, like we we're talking about the band chemistry, but also after you've been doing this for a certain amount of time, you get over like the weird ego stuff, and you just get to where like you're just all striving for the best solution to the song, and that's what we're all looking for. And so it's really fun to collaborate and be a part of a, a recording process that's unrestricted because Michael's producing it, so we have the time to experiment, but we also have the um, open-mindedness to where I'm very open to the fact that. He could have a better baseline option, or if we work together, we're clearly two minds are going to generate a better result. You know, right. and that's really cool and inspiring. That's yeah. really cool. It's also really just it's it's nice to have um, a group of people that are all super ambitious and willing to like put the hard work in to like get together, work on stuff, and be uh, a, a unit. You know, it's very it's very nice. Yeah.
see everybody this summer that missed us this time around. And uh, yeah, if you're not in the U.S., we'll be your way soon as well.